Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dabbler's Den. This is Chris Cottrell, and this is a new series based on my previous work with the uh, formation of the Carolina Bays. It's kind of a continuation. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going on a on a series of virtual field trips uh, using LiDAR and Google Earth. Uh, it's a little less formal. Uh, it shouldn't require as much time on my part, uh, which hopefully will make it a little bit more fun and uh, and and keep this thing going. Um, there is a lot to see. This LiDAR is really the key, uh, and there is so much to be seen that we can't see with the naked eye. Uh, and that's actually what spurred this on. Um, I, I had a discussion with uh, Dr. Christopher Moore, um, who I've I've spoken before in my in my previous videos. Uh, I really respect him. I, I like him. Uh, he's he's fairly open minded. And uh, while we disagree, um, I, I'm hoping that we can come to a a uh, you know an agreement and a conclusion. <laughs> uh, and and I'm going to do my part to try to to push this a little bit forward uh, because there's like I said, there's still a lot to be told here uh, with these Carolina Bays, um, a Saginaw Bay impact, and and uh, and, and possibly even a you know a larger um, multi-impact Younger Dryas event. So um, there, there's a lot going on here. And so um, in this image, like, like I said, there's, you see the Carolina Bays. Um, some of these Carolina Bays are partially filled in with uh, what we know as, you know, sand dunes. Um, and uh, this is going to be a topic for my next video. Uh, but what I want to do in this video is to show you guys how you can play along at home. So um, it, it's very simple. Uh, and, and, and let me just show you quickly how to do that. Um, the first thing you're going to, oh, this is my daughter, by the way. This is Lila Bell. Um, first thing you want to do is you need to download uh, Google Earth Pro, uh, which means that you need to have it on a computer, um, a desktop or a laptop or something like that. Um, you're not going to be able to use a phone. Uh, at least I don't know of a way to do that. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, if you guys know of a better way to get LiDAR images onto Google Earth, let me know. Um, this is how I did it, uh, and I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, but if, like I said, if you know a better way or an easier way, share them in the comments below, and, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Because, uh, like I said, the, the amount of information and you know, a new way to look at things is, is going to be crucial and so important for this whole process. Um, so anyways, the first thing you're going to need to do is download this Google Earth Pro onto a computer uh, if you haven't done so already. And uh, it's it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and uh, if you just scroll down here, here's download Google Earth Pro to desktop. And uh, that's what I have already. Uh, that's what this is. And um, as you can see, it's it's very easy to use. Um, uh, right now I have the overlays on. I'm going to show you to show you how to get those as well. Um, but you know, this is what it looks like without the overlays. Uh, and you can include, you know, roads and borders and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, if you don't have Google earth pro, make sure you get that first. All right. Now where you get these overlays or where at least I got them. Uh, if you go to Michael Davies's website and I've spoken about Michael Davies in my other videos, um, he is really done a great job putting together information on Carolina Bays uh, and put them together on this website called Cintos.org. And this is just a plethora of information here. Um, now, granted, we don't agree on the timing of when these Carolina Bays were created. Um, you know, I, I still, you know, hands down, he's done a fantastic job with these Carolina Bays. He's uh, you know, he's he's discussed how they got these LIDAR images. Um, he's gone over, um, you know, here's a whole part of his website on the um, LIDAR. Uh, feel free, like I said, to, to, to take a look at this later on. Um, Carolina Bays, uh, he, he has a whole page based on the Enigma, uh, egg, egg, <laughs> egg nomadic Carolina Bays. Um, all kinds of cool stuff here about the Carolina Bays, if you, if you uh, still didn't know about those. But what we're focusing on here is the Bay Survey. And uh, like I said, he has done a tremendous amount of work by uploading these uh, overlays and then actually going in and measuring and counting different bays, and it's just been incredible. Um, each one of these squares is a file, and um, this, this file is what you're going to want to download 
and and uh, install into your Google Earth. Um, and I've already done it, but I'll just click. I want to show you how. There it is. That um, this is a DEM link. You click on that. It popped up right here. Uh, and then once you clicked on that, this would be the Jacksonville one. Uh, once you click on that and download it, it'll go right into Google Earth. And each one of the, you can actually see right now as they're loading, uh, each one of these squares is uh, one of those files. So this one would be the one that I just downloaded or just opened up. I'll give it a second to open up. And you would do that for each one of these. Just go through each one and um, and click on it. So this is the one that we just clicked on, this square right here. Uh, and then each one. I, I went through every, every one of them, downloaded them, uh, and put them onto Google Earth Pro. Um, it's not just the Carolina Bays, this whole area with the Carolina Bays. Uh, but if you go... Uh, he's got the uh, rain, the Nebraska rainwater basins over here. Um, and like I said, you would just download each one of those, put it onto Google Earth Pro, and now you can play along. And uh, um, I did also uh, take off the, uh, the labels so that they weren't in the way. You can see here. Uh, you could do that too as well. Um, I, that kind of helps clean it up a little bit. I, it, when I like to do these... Um, I like to get rid of everything. I don't like to have any roads. I don't like borders, uh, any of that kind of stuff, because I, I'm, I'm trying to level the field. I, I want to be able to see exactly what it is that we're looking at. Um, and so, again, to if you want to use them, they're there, you know, to for um, maybe uh, a frame of reference. Uh, but I click them off. And I like to have things as clean as possible when I'm looking around the LiDAR. Uh, to find neat and interesting topics. So, again, that's how you get it. Um, now you can play along. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, like I said, just in this one picture alone um, that we can look at. Uh, you know, these um, this, this these sand dunes here. Uh, my um, Chris Moore, Dr. Chris Moore, uh, had you know he's calling these parabolic dunes, sand dunes that were blown in by wind over a long period of time into these Carolina bays that are also created by wind and water over a long period of time. Uh, and obviously, I disagree with that. I, I, I 100% think that these Carolina bays were formed by huge chunks of ice that were were blasted away from the Saginaw Bay area. Uh, they landed here, uh, forming these elliptical shapes that are all over the coastal plain. Uh, and during the same process, some of these, some of these um, rocks, or I'm sorry, some of these giant chunks of ice landed into pre-existing rivers, causing a tsunami or a, uh, a major splash of river water and sand uh, to wash into this area. So this would all be very rapid. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to help help show that. And you can see that here. You know, we've got this these bays being formed, sand being washed over, another bay being formed. Uh, and so, so again, this I think this happened very rapidly. Um, and I hope to show that using the lidar. And uh, again, our very next video will be comparing uh, different locations uh, to to decide whether or not we're, we're looking at parabolic dunes here or splash chevrons uh, from an event like this. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, please download these things if you want to follow along and, and play along uh, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.